stopped going to work, kids stopped going to school. Was there pressure from the DA to wrap it up? Absolutely. But I cut a few corners, possibly. Before you come down on me, waking me up in my own home, you need to remember one thing. And what's that? The moment we took Evan Lucas, put him into custody, the murder stopped. No. No, well, you just tell them I'm not going to budge. Not for that. No. Now they're going to have to work a little bit harder. Sorry, that's the way it is. Charles. All right, I'll call you back. Hey. Hey, John, good to see you. You too, buddy. We missed you at that fundraiser last month. Uh, yeah, well, listen, I need to talk to you about Evan Lucas. Hey, I'm a busy man. You know what? Why don't you call Amy, set up a lunch? We'll go to Danko. You like that, pal? No, no, I mean now. Now? No. All right, well, if you don't mind talking in my other office, after you. What's all this trouble on you, Jeff? Don't tell me that juror's suicide has you spooked. Hmm. You heard about it. Half the people in my office are talking about it. They think there's a curse. You believe in that kind of thing? I don't. You? <laughs> I believe in two things, John. Justice and the death penalty. Everything else is just smoke and mirrors. So what's this really about? Mark Gannon. Yeah, doing life in Fresno last time I heard. Yeah, minimum security. The guy's 5'4". He's got arthritis worse than my grandmother. I still think he had the right friends. These are hardened criminals, John. We're not going to win them over with please and thank you. You're right. Hey, did you know his uh, visitor's log in the jailhouse archives was missing? Half the city's understaffed. Mm -hmm. Clerical's a mess. I don't even know how I do my job. Yeah, so I checked the front logs. You want to guess who visited him right before he gave up Evan's confession? Five years later, and you want to have this conversation now? Did you coach him, Charles? You were with me. You, you know the evidence better than I do. It wasn't enough. Not until his cellmate came forward. Came forward and told everybody Evan confessed. We convicted a guilty man. You swore to me. You assured me that you had testimony proving his guilt. That was a lie. I suppose your conscience would prefer more people die. Like Evan Lucas? What are you gonna do, John? Huh? Destroy your reputation? Jeopardize everything you've spent your whole career building? I'm just gonna deny everything. Because that's what politicians do best, not Ned. City Hall was rocked today with the unexpected revelation that evidence may have been manipulated in the infamous Midnight Murderer case. A conspiracy which goes all the way up to District Attorney Charles Richardson himself, who is accused of tampering with a key witness. Meanwhile, a judge is currently reviewing the evidence against Evan Lucas, who was executed for the murders two years ago. Hi, this is Laura. Please leave me a message. Hello? Hey, Vic. Yeah, I changed it. <laughs> What's up? Oh, um, I can't. I have plans tonight. Michael's here. Yeah. Tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. That was my girlfriend, Vicky. Oh. The one that works in the art gallery. She may be doing a background check on you right now. I'm just letting you know. Uh, unfortunately, one of the side effects of being a cop is you tend to lead a pretty boring personal life. After the week I've had, I can handle boring. Shay, how this works.
Really? Uh, All right, let me see if I can do it. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, Hey, it's me. Call me back ASAP. I think I found something. He told us where you hid the body. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, look, look. This, is that your knife? Hey, we got a witness saying he saw you take the Hamilton girl off of Duxbury Reef. Toss her.